Beth with Beth's Classy Chalking. So I have before me the Odette board. It is a white background with a black frame. It's 12 by 18 inches. It has um, sawtooth clasps on both the top. And then I added this one so that if I choose to do a long picture, I can chalk and turn it that way. So, but today we're going to be using this oblong width landscape for this board. I'm also using a couple transfers from our Southwest collection. So I have this beautiful pattern. And so it's Southwest collection and then it's called Motif. Then I have a smaller transfer, which is a buffalo, and he'll be, go over the top of it. So for starters, we don't need our buffalo right away. I'm going to peel the silk screen off of its backing, and then because it's a brand new one, I'm going to get a little bit of lint on the back of it with my fuzzing cloth so because this is a 18 inch by 18 inch transfer i'm going to have to move this terry cloth around so i can get the whole thing so i got that area let's get down here this is just to give a little bit of a buffer on a really super sticky brand new transfer these silk screens are reusable, so you can reuse it 12 to 14 times if you take really good care of it longer. So they just clean up with cold water. And I also use sanitizing wipes. They're really good for getting chalk paste and um, fuzz and everything off of your transfer. So now, because our board is just a little bit wider than our transfer, I've got to get it to a certain point, and then I'll probably have to move it and get the other side later. So first I'm going to crease along here and then smooth out the sticky side where it's going along this whole edge. It's a really pretty pattern and I picked out some really fun colors that are Southwest colors to do on this. So if you get a little bubble, just lift it up, try smoothing it back out. That usually does the trick. Okay, I think we're pretty good. All right. I'm going to try this without washi tape. See how it goes. All right, so I have multiple size squeegees to use and then different colors as well. So this pattern up here, this zigzag pattern, I'm going to use um, guava. Guava is a really pretty color one of our newer colors. So I'm gonna to try to be real careful and go across and into my little crevice area and get all of that.
I love this guava color. It is so pretty. Love it, love it. So if you're real careful and take your time, you can get these colors and chalk kind of quickly. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I I have you and that's it. Okay, well. Or try mine. Was that the original plan, kind of? There. Okay. All right, so now that I did that color... Good evening, Candice. All right, so I am I am going to pull this up, this color that we did and dry this area real quick. Okay. Anything? Yes, this one is a 18 by 18 inch canvas. It's an 18 inch by 18 inch, and there are some really pretty patterns that we have. All right, so we are going to do this little striped area now, right underneath this color. Okay, I need a smaller tool for this one. All right, so this color is called Seafoam. Also another one of our new colors. I thought it went well with the Southwest theme, I thought we'd give it a try. And like I said, you can get through without a washi tape or a placement tape if you're just real quick and real careful. Not to get the colors mixed in the other areas. If you don't trust your steady hand, by all means, use as much washi tape as you need. I cannot tell you how therapeutic it is to chalk. I feel like it relaxes me, unwinds me. I love it. And I love the beautiful, like, what do you call it? It's just the beautiful boards and how it actually makes you feel so good about something that you've created. Good for your self-esteem. Okay, so this color, we're going to go ahead and pull this back and dry that color. All right, that looks good, actually.
going to dry a little bit lighter than what it is, but not too much of a difference. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now we're doing the shape. So just making sure we got it sealed down here. Okay, a little bit bigger squeegee, but still a mini. Yes, it is so relaxing. I plan to do a small mural with the Christmas Village and use the other transfers for trees, animals, etc. That sounds fun. That sounds right up my alley. Yeah, that village. I want to get. I want to order one of the bigger surfaces so that I can add a little bit more when I do it. Because that, to me. Is really cute. Okay. All right, so that one, I'm forgetting to tell you the colors. All right, so that was orange peel that I just did that one with. So now we are moving on. Okay, I'll just stir this one again before we go. This peony. I'm having some issues with my peony color. Okay. like concentrating too hard. <laughs> I have a huge village I put through Christmas and I thought this would be fun to do. Yes, it would be. That would be cool. I do not have a village. 
but I thought those were that was an adorable transfer. Absolutely adorable. I thought it was really cute. But it does look like it's going to take up quite a bit of a board. And if you add the trees, for sure, it's just going to get bigger <laughs> the more you add. So, all right, now I'm going to do teal down here. Well, you will have to show me pictures when you are done doing that. That sounds really cute. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet for mine. I might look online for some ideas or look at some pictures of real little, the little miniature Christmas villages to get some ideas. All right, let's dry these two colors. I, I don't know how I was doing stuff at my school all day today. I have no idea how my hand is a study. <laughs> I have no idea. It is right now. That's all I know. Right now. We're good. All right. This next section, section is really wide. So I think I can use maybe a small squeegee. A small squeegee, which is bigger than the mini. Okay, let's try this. This one's a little bit more detailed because you have these triangle peaks coming in. Okay. All right, let's dry the yellow. The bumblebee is what it is. Ooh, I got a little bit of a smudge there. 
I'll touch that up with a paintbrush. Got a little bit of teal in my bumblebee. It happens. can see on my board that it doesn't the pattern doesn't finish all the way to the end but we will take care of that I'll have to watch the transfer in between to finish the pattern and that's okay I expected that so I'm prepared for it Okay, now these big triangles and this pattern here. Got a bubble right there. Okay, so I've gone through all six of my colors. So what I would like to do is a combination of the top two colors down here. So I think what I'm gonna do is do the sea foam in the background pattern here and then do the other color there. So let me make sure we're good here since this has been setting. I just want to stir up the sea foam again. And my guava. Or what is this? Yeah, guava. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go ahead and lay in sea foam first. All right, this is definitely going to be tricky. It's a lot of lines. I make it kind of like a fourth of the way across before I have to dry because this is very tricky. goodness. Oh. 
Okay, let me stop and dry this so far. So I don't want it to dry in the screen and I'm worried that it will a little bit. All right, dry this edge while we're doing that. Yes, I think it's going to be beautiful. I do, even though there's a couple little touch-ups here and there. I love the color combination right now. If you go too far, like I just did, we will clean that part of the screen real quick. Oh, really? <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so sorry, Candace. That's funny. They got scared. Aw. What kind of pups do you have? I know. My dog, she's getting really old. And every time somebody makes a noise, like a knock or a tap, she thinks it's the door. And so she gets super protective <laughs> in her old age. Sorry about that. I hope that didn't startle startle you too much. Yeah, that's it's true. Dogs are so funny about TV and computer sounds. Shih tzus. Oh my gosh, my husband keeps saying that's our next dog. Ours is a yellow lab. She is 13 and really really kind kind of um really kind of chilled out now but she's the runt of a litter so she's smaller for a lab yeah yeah we were watching tv one time and our dog at the time it was our black lab and um we were just watching TV like no big deal, and there was a dog on like a talk show or something on the screen. And our black lab, when the dog went off stage, our dog walked around the back of the TV looking for the dog on the TV. Like, where did that dog just go? It, it followed it. I know. Okay, good. I'm glad I made you laugh. <laughs> If you would have been drinking a drink or anything and spilled things, I would have felt so bad. Because <laughs> I know how dogs can be. All right, I've got a couple spots to touch up before I go any further. Let me see if I can real quick dab these lines back off where I went a little bit too far. And you can do this with a paintbrush or a swab, whatever works for you at the time, whatever you got near you. Some people even like to just take their nail and like scratch off the dried chalk paste so that it doesn't 
require waiting for it to dry again. That one got good and dry. I just have a couple lines I don't want on here. I need another one. My little crumbs off of there. Okay. All right, let's make sure. Okay. All right, let's try this other color. Okay, so now we're doing this triangle. And where I got some chalk paste over a little bit, I can touch it up with a paintbrush after. But right now, just got to seal it back down. Okay. Got my hands all full of paste right there. Yes, I know. Searching for the dog on the TV. I thought that was hilarious. I didn't even know dogs could even see what we were watching on TV, let alone see specifically what's on the TV. It was really funny. You know, they've got a, they have a dog watching TV show, like a dog watching channel on the Roku. And I thought that was hilarious. Do, do dogs really sit there and listen to other dogs on the dog channel? That's hilarious. I would love to watch a dog that's watching TV that long to have a dog channel. They are our babies, and we do whatever we can to make them happy. We spoil them. For sure.
Okay. This side, we can go ahead and stick this in the water while we do our touch-ups. And then I'm going to try to get it all washed. And I might just have to take it to the sink to one side. Soak it. All right, now real quick, while that is soaking, I'm gonna grab some of my paintbrushes and see if I can touch up a couple areas. my thin one. I have a really skinny brush somewhere. I wish I have too many things in my way too many things in my cup of brushes. Did I drop it? Gosh, I don't know what I did with them. That's okay. I have to touch it up later. I can. Get the mint colored sea foam touched up quick. All right, so we had a little triangle. Didn't quite fill in. Okay, that looks better that way. I might have to fill in the rest of that once I find my other skinny brush that I lost. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I bet that would be cool. All right, I am going to go wash out my transfer real quick because I want to be able to do this other part of the board. So I'm going to have to go put it under the sink. So I will be back in just a second. Do you want? Is the camera still rolling? Yes. Well, well, you're claiming that I can, I can just take over entertain. if you want. Well, I don't mind if you entertain real quick while I wash this. Yeah. Wait, if I sit down, will people be able to see? You'll be on, yeah. You'll be on camera. But not my face, though, right? Yeah. Ugh. That's scary. That makes me feel weird. So, uh, so, uh, you guys like Shaw? I'm the, uh, yeah, this makes me feel weird. Is there a live stream? How funny is your dog? Oh, hi, Candace Kreischer. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to. She said don't feel good. Yeah. I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what any of this stuff is. 
can I can I try to finish this up, or would that ruin the rest of the program? She has the Is this finger painting? No. <laughs> All right. So I'm coming over to. Thanks, See you. Joe. See you guys. Thank you, Joe. There was too much dead air. Was there? I had to fill you in. You had to fill in. Okay. So that was really super full of chalk. So I'm going to move my board over for a second because I want to hit this with a Lysol disinfectant wipe and pat some of the water out of it before I use it. So these are nice. Sometimes some of the darker colors will stay and that's to be expected. Some of the pigments are really super dark so <laughs> so that's my middle son, Joe. I told him one of these days we're going to do a live and I'm going to teach him how to do a board and walk him through the steps. <laughs> but we haven't done it yet. We're going to do one of these days. All right, so now I'm just going to take my fuzz cloth and pat out some of this water and my dog might bark because patting is like knocking. She gets confused. All right, let's do this side and sandwich it between two fuzz cloths just to be on the safe side that we're nice and dry and so that it doesn't take chalk paste off of the board. So I am going to have a little bit of an overlap when we go back on here. Overlap onto the dry chalk piece we have on there. So layering is always tricky. Okay, I think that looks good. I think we are golden. Okay, I see that I'm getting a try to reconnect little spinny thingy. I know that it would be really funny to have him. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get this edge a little better. Feels like it's a little bit damp. I'm trying not to stick my transfer together. Okay, let's see if we can line this up. Worst thing that could happen is it pulls some chalk paste up, but we're hoping that doesn't happen. Luckily, this mirror image lines right up with that end. Okay. Well, if you guys can see everything that I'm doing, but I'm definitely a little bit fighting with this to get it to lay down. Okay. All right, I guess if we do one color at a time, it's better than. Let's do that. Okay. 
what is with that one? It's wanting to fold. Hmm. All right, I'm not exactly sure how this corner will turn out. Giving it my best shot, though. Okay. Let's try this other color, too, real quick. Let's see if I can get that to lay flatter. Oops, Get a dry piece. Okay, let's see how that looks. There's my cloth. Stick it out. Okay, that's not too bad. That is not bad at all. Okay, I'm going to dry this. I want to say that is all right. To orange peel. to the computer taken off on me. Have a little bit of a bubble. Okay, now we're in trouble because now I can't lay that back down. So, let me get these lines. Right. Okay, we're going back to this teal color. And then back to Bumblebee. Okay. 
Okay, we're almost done. Just have two more colors. Oh. Okay. All right, I'm going to do the backwards this time and do the inside before I do this outside because I just have a little bit to do. Sorry, I'm not talking more. I am really focused on what I'm doing. In the final home stretch here on this board. Okay, there's that. Now, we're gonna dry that before we do the other transfer over the top of it. Yes, I do too. It's really hard not to, so, and it's been a really long day. So that, like, I feel like I'm starting to get quite tired now, but definitely look forward to this and it is doing its trick. It's unwinding me and relaxing me, so that's why I do it. All right, just put the lids on these pastes and then we're gonna go right to the next step. And then I can always, whenever I find where that other brush went, touch this up later. Okay, so far. Thank you, Candace. Okay, so the buffalo, so he, goes in the center and I was thinking of just doing one solid color something that's not going to really fight with the colors so I'm thinking of just doing black so we have a black frame and the colors and that would be like a good neutral I could do something even lighter but then it's going to not show up as much so it's probably where I'm going. So let's fuzz him. He's brand new. Brand new. 
buffalo. Did you know that bison and buffalo are two different things? I guess I didn't know that. But when I was researching colors of buffaloes, they're saying they're completely different. All right. So let's get this a little bit centered. That looks good. And I think that that is a really good background for him. All right, so let me stir this real quick. All right, we're going to use the small size squeegee, which is a little bit on the bigger size. Yes, now when you look at a buffalo, they'll, they'll pull up bison, they'll pull up buffalo, they'll pull up water buffalo. There are a whole bunch of buffaloes, seems like anyway. And I'm sure there are like different breeds within that as well, I would think. Maybe, maybe not. Like maybe European buffalo. I don't know. Are buffalo only native to North America? That's a good question. Are there European buffalo? That is another Google question or an Alexa question. Smoothing it out right now. That looks good. All right, peeling to reveal. Ta -da. All right, that is really cute. I love it. Southwest Collection. Now this is two of the pieces of the Southwest Collection and there's a few more transfers that go with this. I have a few of them here so I wanted to show so that you could see the potential especially if you have a Southwest room in your house. Something that would go nice with it. Now, so there's a smaller one. All right, so this one is the Wander. So there's a bunch of flowers and the word Wander. Southwest collection, collection is called Wander Florals. That one's a nice one that would go really well with the buffalo if you wanted to do something a little simpler and then this one is called born to be free so you have kind of um kind of the head part of um this is a oh my gosh i don't know my animals that's a long horn steer right and then you've got the wild and free You've got the pattern that this is on that part of the skull that you put in the center. And then there's a feather if you want to put the feather off of that as well. So I've seen people combine this one, wild and free, with the buffalo, with the wander above it. So wander, the buffalo, and wild and free below it. And that looks really cute. But you could do this pattern and put the... Um, the horns and the head with it, 
and just do this in a pop, do this one in a pop of color and do that as the background. There's so many combinations. So the Southwest collection, really super cute. Um, you'll have to check it out. If you're interested, let me know. I will give you the link for the catalog so that you can look at these. So if you are watching this after my live, please give me a hashtag replay so that I know that you've seen it. Um, I do have a customer group called Best Classy Chalking VIP. If you are interested in that, just comment, add me. And if you would like to be a member of the Club Couture, um, you just have to um, put in the comment club. If you would like to do chalking, and do what I do and do these live videos for family friends um, just give me the comment join and I will send you a link for that and if you are a youtuber please subscribe to best classy chalking on YouTube otherwise love and share on this video and I will see you tomorrow night at 9 p.m. for the next thing I'm going to chalk and thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great Wednesday night, and I'll see you Thursday. Bye.